right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with the same height and a similar reach. We sent it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If you just fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 249 pounds. Napalm! And now we produce his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Elbow to the head there by Choi. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. These guys throwing early. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh! Single 
collar tie now. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. on the straight right hand. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Just out of range with the big right hand. Combination. Oh, straight right. Choi gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Nice jab. Follows it up with a nice right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Leg kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, Superman punch! That strike blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Right hand on point. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Nice kick. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Unable to connect them. Oh, take down there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. Choi's got the full mount. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Second round, straight ahead. DC second round is getting Good underway. Point. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Nice stupid punch. Here's the kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Distance gets the single collar tie. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, big knee. <laughs> Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Got the single collar tie. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Ooh, what a punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Joy gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Watch knees to the body. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He blocks the punch. He's back in the first position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big head kick. Block that kick to the body. All right, single collar tie now. Nice punch land over the top. High volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh! Oh, he might be out. And what a round! All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. 
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty Three good five. previous two Three. rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Whiffs on that offering. Powerful leg kick lands. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, eats a knee. And there comes the separation now. Let's go, let's go. Lands with the right hand. Oh, collar tie combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of oh! everything. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Single collar tie now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes to go. Lands the right hand. Beautiful strike. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. He's fighting much more aggressively. His opponent got into the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. That's a big strike right there. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot. He got defended, as you would expect him to. Takedown defense holds up. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Choi's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. What a body kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big kick. And he landed the right hand there. Nice counter jab there. Trying to kick the leg out. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Slips the left hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Just a slip there. Blocks the shot. And they second. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. You're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land this beautiful punch into the head. Nice punch there. 
good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Nice job. I thought you were going to knock him out of the octagon. This round, he knows you're going to come hard, so he's going to be ready. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And now he's got the tie clinch. One, two there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just misses with that one. Got the single collar tie. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Oh, nice. Effective punch there by Choi. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw it. He, he lands a switch knee. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. A big liver kick lands under oh. the elbow. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.